Welcome to another full adventure with Getting Lost. As you can see from the sign, we're at Bio Crescent Food Center today to try some food here. Food like this, this, of course this one, and especially this one. So let's get to it. Let's eat, eat, eat. We start like always with how to get there. This is Tiong Baru MRT station. And once this is on the east-west line. Once you get out for the gantry, you walk straight until you reach this corridor and then you turn turn left. You're actually looking for exit B. B for Bangkok, B for Bear. So continue walking towards the end here. And then you will turn right and when you turn right there's actually a escalator going up which you will take up up to the top here we are at the top so we're gonna keep going straight okay if you turn right you will actually go to the bus stop but that's not where we are going that's not where we are going this is the bus stop you take if you want to go to uh, Tiong Baru Market but instead of going right, you go left. We are going to the back of this place here. This place is actually Tiong Baru Plaza. Okay, behind Tiong Baru Plaza, there's actually a taxi stand, which you can see there in front right there, and then also a pedestrian crossing. So we're going to cross the pedestrian crossing right to the other side of the road. So let's just cross the road here. And also over here, as you can see, there's always construction going on somewhere around Singapore. Anyway, over here, you turn left and you follow this pathway, this covered walkway, and just keep walking. Just follow the walkway and continue walking along the walkway. Okay, as you can see, coming up. There's actually a pedestrian crossing to cross the road. We're going to take this pedestrian crossing. Okay, we'll do that by turning left over here. So we're reaching the left turn and turn left. Okay, cross this pedestrian crossing. And after that, turn right. Yes, turn right. And you're going to follow this covered walkway this covered pathway all towards the all until the end so just keep walking all right at the end of this pathway you turn left and you see there's actually a, another pedestrian crossing with a traffic light over here press the button if you're going to cross and when the green man comes cross the road so we're going to cross at this pedestrian crossing this traffic light pedestrian crossing and after you cross, you turn left and continue walking along this side of the road. So on your right, there's actually a HDB uh, block of flats. So you are going to continue walking along this block of flats right until the end of the block. Yes, we're still walking along this side of the block. We're going to reach the end of the block soon. Just keep walking. Okay, we are reaching the end of the block here. At the end of the block, you turn right. And after you turn right, you can see that there's another covered walkway in between the blocks. So you're just going to walk along this covered walkway. Walk straight all the way in. Just keep walking straight all the way in all the way in you'll notice as you're walking you're actually walking beside a uh, multi-story car park so continue walking and if you look in front of you now 
slightly towards your right, you'll see that you're actually at Bio Crescent Food Center. Here we are at Bio Crescent Food Center. This is one of the food center in the heartlands of uh, Tiong Bahru, which is a food center. This is quite small. There's not there's not many stalls here, but there are a few places you can eat here. This is quite good. So let's go in and let's look for those food. The first shop we're going to try is actually here called Haha Big Prawn Noodles. And this place is no laughing matter. Uh, they serve uh, prawn noodles. Okay, and here's the dish. Okay, here is I ordered the pork rib with prawn. You can also order with uh, bigger prawns, which will cost you more, of course. But the prawns here are quite fresh, and the pork ribs are quite tender. You know, you can even eat it together with the bones, even though it doesn't look very fantastic, but it actually tastes quite good. The noodles itself is uh, quite nice. The only thing is, uh, on the counter there, there's actually uh, they should allow you to actually add in more chili powder, which I suggest that you do because the chili powder will add in more flavor into the noodles. But even without that, the noodles are quite nice, uh, especially the pork ribs and the prawn. And what is really good is the soup itself. The soup, I think, has been cooked together with the prawn heads and the prawn bones for a very long time. So it's super flavorful. Next shop we are going to try is over here called Hai Chu uh, Fish Soup Shop. Basically, it sells the uh, popular in Singapore fish soup where you can actually have sliced fish soup or fried fish soup either together with noodles or together with uh, soup and rice up to you and here's the dish itself uh, I ordered the fried fish but I heard that the sliced fish is also quite popular here okay, one thing I like about here is they give you ample um, slices of tomato not many places um, add tomato into their fish soup the tomato actually gives it a nice uh, nice taste to the soup itself and the soup itself is very nice and light and refreshing and this one I need to add in a bit of soup oh yeah it's good so if you do like fish soup this is actually one of the uh, better fish soups I've tried worth a try if you are in the, in the area and if you are looking for something healthy alright next is actually beside the food center itself is actually uh, under block 40 which are a few coffee shops this is one place here that actually sells uh, Hokkien Mee the name of the place is called Yang Cho Fried Hokkien Prawn Mee and it serves a good plate of prawn meat here are the noodles itself okay so this is a hokkien mee so basically this hokkien mee has two types of noodles it has the bihun rice noodle with, together with the yellow noodles and then it's, there's some chives, there's some bean sprouts, there's egg uh, there is prawn, there is squid and then this is all cooked together with a very flavorful seafood stock and these seafood stocks and they will go and cook it in a, in a way that the noodles itself will absorb all the seafood stock into the noodles and then when you eat it, mmm, very good. So here is the noodles itself. Look at that. Yeah. The noodles are good. This is actually one of the uh, top five, in my opinion, of Hokkien Mi I've eaten so far. Okay, one thing special about this um, thing is that is look at the sauce it's very saucy um, you don't really need to eat it with the sambal uh, you eat, can eat the sambal if you want some spiciness but you can eat it just the noodles by itself it's just that good so a highly recommended Hokkien Mee another very popular place is on the right here 
which is just a coffee shop which is just in front of the Hokkien Mee that sells Hainanese uh, curry rice this shop here you have to come early if you do not come by 11 30 there's a long queue for the food already so this place makes Hainanese chicken rice and Hainanese curry rice which is which is very flavorful so you have a uh, deep fried uh, pork chop then you have stewed vegetables and then I also had some stewed pork belly and then together with an egg and I would say that it is worth the, the line up if the queue if you do come here with the queue if there's a queue uh, only thing is be careful when you eat the pork chop sometimes there are bits of bone that they deep fried together with the pork other than that very good here's the view of uh, Bio Crescent Food Center it's only two rows of shops this row and that row and on the other side is already the market already so uh, not very much big variety of food but there are still a few places that are quite good and and especially next to them block 40 there is two shops that sells really really good food so do come here and try the food and as usual if you like what you see like share and subscribe and don't forget join me for my next food adventure bye bye